Good evening, friends, and welcome to another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. I am Professor Arvind Prasad. Today, we will be studying about application of Gibbs phase rule to pure fluids. You will today learn what is application of Gibbs phase rule. I will not take in this lecture how do we derive the Gibbs phase rule. That is available in most of the textbooks and a good number of videos are available on the internet on YouTube. But what I will concentrate on is how to apply the Gibbs phase rule to various systems. Now, application, correct application of Gibbs phase rule to systems, thermodynamic systems, gives you a proper insight to design. Therefore, it is very important to learn how to apply this rule correctly. What is the Gibbs phase rule for non-reacting mixtures? You may have mixtures in which reaction takes place. These kind of mixtures would usually be in a reactor. And then you would have fluid mixtures which would be essentially non-reacting. Now the Gibbs phase rule for non-reacting mixtures is degrees of freedom F is equal to C the components minus P the phases plus 2. Now what is the rule? The rule is degree of freedom that is F is the minimum number of state variables that should be fixed to fix the state of the thermodynamic system. Now what are the usual state variables that chemical engineers come across in their system? Temperature, pressure, volume per unit mass or mole, internal energy per unit mass or mole, enthalpy per unit mass or mole, entropy per unit mass or mole, Gibbs free energy per unit mass or mole, Helmholtz free energy per unit mass or mole and X size that is the mole fractions in any phase. Now let's take a vapor liquid equilibrium for a pure fluid. Now mind you for a pure fluid this does not apply that is mole fractions do not apply to the Gibbs phase rule. Now for such a system, let us take an isolated system in which we have a pure fluid in equilibrium with its vapor. Now it is understood that such fluids and their vapors will be at equal temperatures and equal pressures and the pressure in this case is going to be the saturated vapor pressure. Now if we apply the Gibbs phase rule to such a system that is a vapor liquid equilibrium of a pure component then we have degrees as freedom as components 1 minus phases which is 2 plus 2 that makes it 1. It says that if one of the state variables are fixed then all other state variables get fixed. Let's explain this. That is out of this entire collection of state variables. For such a system that is a pure vapor in equilibrium with the pure fluid, if I fix one state variable, all the other state variables are automatically fixed. Now, we know that for a pure fluid in vapor liquid equilibrium, for a temperature, the pressure is fixed. This is the saturated vapor pressure. And therefore, we have the Antoine's equation. So, we know that for a pure VLE vapor liquid equilibrium, we can relate the vapor pressure to the temperature. 
Now, this is what the Gibbs phase rule also tries to say that pressure is fixed if the temperature is fixed. If the temperature is fixed, the pressure is fixed. Now, for this VLE, if the temperature is fixed, the pressure is the saturated vapor pressure. And if the pressure is fixed, the temperature is nothing but the saturated temperature or the boiling temperature. Note that once I fix any of the state variables, the others are fixed. I took an example of temperature and pressure. I can always argue that if the enthalpy per unit mass or mole of any of the phase is fixed or its value is determined, all the other variables are fixed. Mind you, the mass and the mole fractions do not apply for this case. Now, if I fix the temperature of the VLE, the pressure is automatically fixed and it is equal to the saturated vapor pressure. The volume per unit mass or mole for vapor and liquid phase is automatically fixed. Their values are fixed. Therefore, their internal energies, enthalpies, entropies, Gibbs free energies and Helmholtz free energy is also fixed. Now, let's further understand that are we using this? professionally the answer is yes now let's go to a steam table now in the steam table let's go to the saturated steam table saturated steam table gives you the properties of the vapor of steam that is the steam in equilibrium with the liquid or to put it in correct english when the steam is in vapor with its liquid therefore for such condition as we can see if the temperature is fixed the saturation pressure is fixed note here if the temperature again here is fixed at 35 degrees celsius the saturation vapor pressure is fixed we also find that if we fix the temperature which fixes the saturation vapor pressure the volume of fluid that is liquid the volume of gas the internal energy of liquid the internal energy of gas the enthalpy of liquid and the enthalpy of the gas the entropy of the liquid and the entropy of the gas they are all fixed and they are all unique it should be noted in this table that for any other temperature the values are unique they do not match with they are not similar to any of the other entries so here we have learned what is the practical application of the gibbs phase rule in understanding the systems This is the end of a short lecture. Hope you have learnt something today and something important today. Please like my videos and subscribe my channel. Goodbye. Have a great day.